How's it going everyone? It's Harvey from Weather Sponge 5000 and let's get right into things by talking about our next potential major northeast snowstorm that's expected to impact northeast by this weekend. Take a look at the latest run of the GFS model. Now the latest run of the GFS model is showing a more favorable track when it comes if um, you're definitely hoping for snowfall in the areas further southward in the northeast because if we were to continue to move forward with the forecast we clearly see that this storm system definitely takes more of a, east, a straight easterly approach towards the northeast rather than uh, south um, moving towards the northeast which would promote a little bit more rainfall along the coastal cities like new york city and philadelphia but in this scenario we're seeing that the gfs model in its latest run wants to take this low pressure system to move sort of in this direction rather than in this direction which definitely does promote more snowfall for the areas further southward because if the storm system were to move in this direction where it'll be coming um, straight from the southwest, that would mean that there would be a stronger southerly flow for a more prolonged period of time right up along the coastal cities of the northeast and that would enhance the easterly flow and as you know the Atlantic water temperature right now is hovering around the 40s and while that is cold that isn't um, the, um those sea surface temperatures aren't necessarily cold enough to um, be able to support for much snowfall so if we were to see a stronger easterly flow that would definitely promote more rainfall right up along the coast but since this storm system would move from the west in this scenario that would allow the cool air associated from this ridge to dominate a little bit more um on the northerly side the west the easterly winds would be weaker which means that the um um the warmer air that's over the atlantic ocean wouldn't necessarily move as much towards land to in increase the temperature which means that areas like new york city and philadelphia experience major snow in this um latest scenario from the gfs model and same goes for southern new england as in fact the heaviest snowfall is more so focused right up along new york city and the northern portion of new jersey where you clearly see the purple shades um associated with this area of snowfall which represents very heavy snowfall easily over one inch per hour snowfall rates would be associated with a band like this um so in this scenario, New Jersey and New York City and even portions of Pennsylvania will get impacted more. And we see that for Washington, D.C. and Baltimore as well, you do experience a little more snowfall in a scenario like this as well. Now, we're going to see if this keeps up. The European model is still very persistent on um, the idea that this storm system will take more of a northeasterly approach where it'll move up the coast rather than uh, move more towards uh, east a straight easterly direction and what that does is that since this storm system would move um further in the european model scenario since it would move further northward that would mean that the storm will likely become stronger because for the storm system to move um to take more of a northerly track in the first place that would require a sh more pronounced jet stream dip which would require a stronger ridge that would definitely enhance the southerly and easterly flow associated with this low pressure system and if you we were to take a look at that we see that the low level center is well to the south of where the gfs model wants to take it at around the same time period and that allows the storm system to strengthen more the easterly winds to strengthen more and that allows a little bit more warm air to intrude the coastal area so in a scenario like this Baltimore and Washington DC it'll be a very difficult forecast because you guys would be right uh, along the border between receiving maybe 6 to 12 inches of snowfall or no snow at all as there's certainly that possibility it might entirely be a rain event for Washington DC and Baltimore and I'll say more likely than not I don't expect that the forecast will shift to where it'll bring any major snowfall to Baltimore and Washington DC or at least maybe anything more than a few inches because even in the GFS models scenario which is a little bit more favorable for snow in the area of sort of southward is still bringing a decent amount of rainfall right over Baltimore and Washington DC so at best, I'll say those cities could maybe see five inches of snowfall, but not necessarily 
um, what uh, you would maybe experience in other areas for um, that are more a little bit further westward where the cold air is more abundant. However, for the areas for northward into Philadelphia, uh, pretty much north of Philadelphia, that's where the chance of snowfall certainly rises. Um, for New York City, the chance of major snowfall is certainly higher. And for Boston, I'll say more likely than not, this you likely will experience major snow out of this because I find it difficult for the computer models to shift their forecast so much where it brings much of any rainfall to Boston as this might entirely be um this likely will entirely be a snow event for boston so boston could easily see anywhere between six to ten inches of snowfall and potentially more than that in some localized areas right um over massachusetts and other portions of southern new england but we see in the european mall scenario the storm track is definitely more um uh, is definitely um moving more towards the northeast um that allows warm air to intrude right up along the coast and it's going to be a very difficult forecast for these cities up along the interstate 95 corridor because any small shifts with the um trajectory of this low pressure system could make the difference between experiencing six inches of snow in new york city to no snow at all so we're definitely going to need a um, pay close attention to the small details with a storm like this as is going to be another one of those interstate 95 corridor type storm systems where uh, along southeast of the interstate 95 corridor the, uh, the your chance of snow is definitely a lot less likely for example southern new jersey the chance of snowfall especially in the extreme southeastern portions like atlantic city and the cape may area is definitely very slim at this time um and i'll say same for the delmar peninsula i just find it difficult that we're gonna see um we could see a scenario where the computer models will shift their forecast to bring the snow that far southward into southern new jersey and the delmarva peninsula for um, places like Philadelphia, New York City, you're definitely more favorable for snowfall um, than let um, areas like Baltimore and Washington D.C. But it's still highly uncertain right up along those cities. However, for the areas that have a higher amount of certainty, I have a pretty high amount of certainty that for northwestern New Jersey will experience a major snowstorm. Same goes for the Pocono Mountain areas of Pennsylvania and pretty much the entirety of Pennsylvania in general outside of the southeastern portion of Pennsylvania right around Philadelphia. I do expect you will um, likely will see major snow out of this anywhere between 6 to 12 inches of snowfall and could be more in the higher elevations and same goes for upstate New York. The forecast is certain that you will experience a major snowstorm. Now the thing I've been talking about um in my last video that will determine the trajectory of this storm system is of course how strong the ridging will be because if we were to take a look at how strong the ridging will be in the european model scenario the european model is expecting that the ridge just to the east of this storm system will be quite a bit stronger which means that there's going to be a stronger southeasterly flow or southwesterly flow that'll steer this storm a little bit further northward that'll make the storm more intense the winds more intense so we're gonna see a stronger southerly flow that would bring more warm air right up along the coast for the snowfall to be focusing a little bit more on the interior northeast rather than some of the coastal um, northeast cities especially just south of philadelphia um but in the gfs model scenario we see that the gfs model wants to take a much weaker ridge and as a result the storm is weaker the winds are weaker so we see less of a strong southeasterly push and that allows more cold air to intrude the storm system on the northern side as we clearly see the ridge is a lot smaller it's a lot weaker by the time we approach the saturday time frame and we're definitely going to need to see which computer model ends up caving to um, lean a little bit more towards the other um, computer model because i'll certainly be key in determining who will get the most snowfall right up along northeast and if the coastal northeast cities will experience major snowfall so definitely pay close attention to the forecast over the next few days now let's take a look 
at the snowfall forecast from the GFS model and you're clearly going to see that the GFS model is definitely more confident in bringing snowfall a little bit further southward where New York City would get involved with 6 to 12 inches of snowfall in a scenario like this. Philadelphia is right up along the border between experiencing maybe 3 to 6 inches to potentially over 6 inches of snowfall. Um, pretty much the entirety of northern and central New Jersey experience um, around 6 to 12 um, inches of snowfall. And moving a little bit southward, Washington, even in a more favorable scenario like the GFS model and bringing the snowfall further southward, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore more are right up along the border between receiving major snowfall to no snowfall at all which makes me believe that it's less likely for those cities to receive a major snow event compared to the cities further northward um, if there's going to be any snow at all I wouldn't expect anything more than maybe four to five inches in those cities at the max but I could easily foresee um, Baltimore and Washington DC um, receiving no snowfall in a scenario like this and but we clearly see um, this snowfall extends to northwestern Virginia as well 6 to 12 inches um, are likely in, um, right around northwestern Virginia and for the eastern portion of West Virginia this is where you should experience most snowfall it's likely for the Charleston scenario it'll likely be a rain event at this time and then moving for northward what's interesting is that with this model run from the GFS model it doesn't bring as much snowfall to southern New England, but still brings a decent amount, right around three to six inches of snowfall. So, um, so in this scenario, um, more um, the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York City would experience the worst of the snowfall. Now, in the European model scenario, it's definitely quite a bit of a different scenario because the European model is forecasting the snowfall to focus in further northwestward to where um, areas like New York City it's a highly uncertain forecast because you're right up along the border again between receiving no snowfall to potentially up to six inches of snowfall for Philadelphia however it's fairly far from even receiving an inch of snowfall to the northwest but again if the storm trajectory were to shift even a little bit to the east that would mean that you'll experience three to six inches of snowfall over philadelphia so highly uncertain forecast for philadelphia and for washington dc and baltimore as well so i'll definitely keep you guys updated once we get the computer models really to agree on the trajectory of on um, this storm system and in the more long-term future uh, another thing i want to point out is that the midwest could be in for a potential major snowstorm after um this northeast snowstorm because if we were to take a look at the snowfall forecast beyond this storm system we clearly see very heavy snowfall right over the midwest um this is impacting indiana and could impact chicago with major snowfall i'll definitely keep you guys updated once we get more certainty with the forecast so make sure to stay tuned um and yeah the northeast definitely needs to prepare for major snow so now I'm going to detail the timing of the storm system, the chance you'll see snow um, in, um, from this storm system in each city and each major region of the Northeast. So if we were to continue to move forward with the forecast, um, so let's start with Virginia um, and West Virginia. So um, right around um, Northwestern Virginia, the chance of snowfall is fairly high at this time, pretty much anywhere that's just to the West of Washington, DC. I'll say the chance of snowfall in those areas is right around a 70% chance as the snowfall should be major. Um, you could experience snowfall rates anywhere between um, one to two inches per hour. And um, the snowfall should start right around Saturday afternoon and this sh and the heaviest snowfall will be right around Saturday night before ending very early on Sunday for Northwestern Virginia and on um, the eastern portion of West Virginia for Charleston this will likely be entirely a rain event as it seems unlikely that there's going to be enough cold air that'll move that far southward and the cold air would be focusing a little bit further to the east from where um Charleston is located as Charleston is in this small area where the 
warm air will likely be too much um, um, for any sort of snowfall to occur right over Charleston. And for Richmond and um, Virginia Beach, this is going to be entirely a rain event. Um, at this point, it's highly certain at this time. So unfortunately, in those areas, you shouldn't get your hopes up for snow um, because it's definitely unlikely you're going to see snow in those areas. Now, moving northward into the Delmar Peninsula, it's most likely going to be entirely a rain event outside of the possibility of maybe some snowfall in the extreme northern portions of Delaware. But this low pressure system will move a little bit too far to the north for Del the Delmarva Peninsula to experience any snowfall. So, but you should expect a heavier amount of rain. And then for Pennsylvania, so um, like I said, the entirety of Pennsylvania should begin to experience impacts right around the um, late Saturday into early Sunday time frame and the snowfall rates could be around one inch per hour as the snowfall rates could be very heavy at times and this should last until I'll say right around the Sunday afternoon time frame for much of Pennsylvania. 6 to 12 inches should be forecasted for Pennsylvania and I'll give it an 80% chance of a major snowstorm impacting, um, impacting pretty much the entirety of Pennsylvania outside of the southeastern portion of Pennsylvania right around Philadelphia. Now, for the bigger cities like Washington, D.C. and um, Baltimore, I'll give it a 40% chance of you guys receiving accumulating snowfall because it um, with storm systems like this, computer models tend to trend a little bit more northward the closer we get to the actual event. So I do believe that it'll most likely be a rain event for Baltimore and Washington, D.C. You might experience snowfall, but I wouldn't expect much accumulation in those cities based on what we're seeing right now. But still, don't rule out the possibility. But I'll say more likely it'll there won't be much of any accumulating snowfall right around Baltimore and Washington. DC um, or at least any significant anything more than one to two inches most likely um, now for Philadelphia um, it's definitely going to be a little bit more favorable for snowfall I'll give a 50% chance of accumulating snowfall in Philadelphia as a, and if you were to experience snowfall it would begin right around the overnight hours on Sunday and it should extend into the afternoon on Sunday right over Philadelphia for New Jersey for northern Jersey out north Western Jersey more sickly I'll give it a 70% chance of receiving accumulating snowfall and likely will be major snowfall right anywhere between 6 to 12 inches and um, the snowfall should begin right around the overnight time on Sunday extending into the afternoon on Sunday for northwestern New Jersey um, and for New York City that's your big um, that's a big question and the metropolitan area of eastern New Jersey I'll give it right now a 60% chance of accumulating snowfall should um, there should be enough cold air to where you would at least experience some accumulating so far. There is still that possibility. It could be major if we do see enough cold air intrude um, where you could maybe see six inches of snowfall in New York City metropolitan area. So definitely pay very close to the forecast. Um, the details will be very key in determining how much snow you'll receive right over New York City and surrounding areas. And then for the areas um, um, such as upstate New York, you should be Begin to see snowfall right around Sunday morning, and it should extend into the Sunday um, afternoon to Sunday night time frame in upstate New York. Um, that's um, which in southern upstate New York, you should expect around six to twelve inches of snowfall, and then northern upstate New York, right around three to six inches. Now, for southern New England, you should expect impacts as early as Sunday morning, and this should extend into the overnight hours on Monday, as it's fairly likely at this point Boston will entirely receive a snow event. I'll give it an 80% chance, and you should experience six to 12 inches of snowfall most likely for Hartford, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Um, and for the areas for the northward, more like three to six inches as it seems like the storm will move a little bit too far south to bring the heavier snow bands, but still should bring snowfall in those areas nevertheless. So that me prepare for this all throughout the northeast. But that's it for now, guys, and I thank you guys for watching.